Well, hey everybody, it's the Bruce City Rider. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, if you're looking for information on a protective riding gene, uh, I'm here to bring you some info that you might not be aware of and a product you might not be aware of. A little bit about myself. I'm a Southeast Wisconsin motovlogger. I cover uh, rides, rallies, uh, bike events. Of course, I do motovlogs. I do uh, Harley maintenance videos on twin cams and evolutions. And um, I do uh, gear reviews. And uh, I even have been getting into some uh, knife reviews of late. So if any of this is of interest to you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any content. I've uh, been riding for 46 straight years, guys. So yeah, I know a thing or two about a thing or two about riding and riding gear. So today I've got a company, uh, say, I would say a little known company called Diamond Gusset Jeans. It's an American company and they've got their own line of riding jeans called the Defender. So uh, I'll bring it down to the tabletop and we'll go over the details of this. So stay tuned. So like I said, I've been riding for 46 years. But only in the last 15 have I been uh, concerned with upping my uh, safety game while on the bike. Um, I went down in 2004 in a pretty bad accident. And of course that got me to uh, rethink my safety gear. So I went from riding in basically uh, street clothes, just jeans and boots and uh, uh, nothing special, to uh, usually wearing a half helmet and always wearing my uh, Kevlar line jeans, always wearing gloves, uh, always wearing heavy protective boots. Uh, of course that's not the most protective gear you can wear and determining what type of protective gear and how much of it you want to wear that's a personal decision. There's no right or wrong answer. It's all a balancing act between safety, comfort, and, and cool factor. So uh, one of my go-to safety items are these Diamond Gusset Defender riding jeans. I've been wearing these for uh, probably 10 to 12 years and I just bought myself another pair so I thought I'd do a, a quick video on it. Um, what I like about these, it's got a classic uh, Levi or Lee uh, jean look to them with the uh, standard blue denim we can also get them in black with the uh, I guess copper colored stitching and uh, in addition to to that it's a heavier duty denim I don't have the weight on it but you can feel it when you compare it to your regular jeans it's a lot thicker uh, and reading off the tag here um, and I'll show you all this it's got a metal d-ring uh, good for clipping uh, uh, some keys to or a chain wallet it's got a uh, nice big coin pocket. It's got uh, DuPont Kevlar lining in critical slide areas, uh, hip, seat, and knee. And one thing that's really cool is it's got a Velcro ankle tab. When you need to cinch that up around your foot, if it's uh, real windy or, or cold out, you can cinch it up and essentially block out all the wind. It's got a nice uh, blacked out American flag leather patch here with the Diamond Gusset logo up here. And uh, jumping right into this, I'll go right to the uh, the crotch. Because their the whole name of the company is based on their crotch design. Let's see if I can show you this. All right. So right in here, let me get these stretched out for you. There you go. In the crotch area you can see there's a, a diamond shape. And that makes these a lot more comfortable than regular jeans where you got just a seam going up your uh, up your junk. This gives you a lot more comfort for those long days in the saddle. Alright. Here's the coin pocket. 
and it's on the left side. Normally jeans have them on the right side, but they put it on the left side. So if you need to access change while at a, a drive through or a toll booth or something, it's a lot easier to um, get it out, out of your left side, which is the side you're going to be uh, interacting with somebody with at the window. Um, here's the D-ring I was talking about. Nice heavy duty sewn in D-ring on some nice heavy duty, heavy duty webbing there. And you can hook your chain on there if you wear a chain wallet or you can just, uh, if you got a clip on your keys, you can clip them on there and run them in your pocket so they're nice and secure. So I really like that. And uh, going again to the back, uh, the pocket doesn't have any fancy stitching on it. It's a plain back pocket. And then, uh, let's see, it's got a, an additional pocket, which I really like, right down here on the right side leg, right there. I can get four fingers in there, and it goes deeper than I can reach. It goes just a little bit deeper than my hand. So that's a, a nice multi-purpose pocket. I usually stick a, a lighter in there and sometimes a cigar tube. This uh, is a little different style than on my older pair of uh, diamond gusset jeans, which was kind of a half moon opening with, with a little piece of Velcro. I actually like this better. I think that's an improvement. All right, as I mentioned, this has DuPont Kevlar, 100% sewn in. And you can see that's all this yellow material. All the way across the seat, onto the hip. It's hard to see the pocket materials in the way, but you can see that there. Onto the hip. And then I'm not going to roll them up, but you can see where it's sewn in um, on the uh, knees. You can see the stitching here. This is all DuPont Kevlar. So, let me show you the bottoms here. This is a great feature. It's got Velcro straps sewn in the bottom of the leg opening. And they're nice and wide. You can get them over uh, any, any uh, type of boot, even an adventure style boot. Um, so if it's windy or cold out and you want to cut the wind from coming up your leg, you just put them over your boots and cinch these up as tight as you need to and it'll stop the wind. Okay, let's talk price. One really nice thing about these jeans is number one, they're made 100% in the U.S. of A. Um, in Tennessee, they're located in Bonacqua, Tennessee, and they also have a storefront in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So how cool is that? And even being made in the U.S. for a riding jean, they're very affordable. Um, the normal price on these uh, on the website today is $135. Uh, they often go down to uh, $127. And then if, you, if you're patient and you wait, they'll have a sale, uh, I don't know, a couple times a year. And um, you can get them for about $99. That's what I got these for. $99 for full DuPont Kevlar lined with great features. Can't beat that. The only jeans I've seen cheaper are some of the Cycle Gear brand jeans. Um, I haven't seen any in person, but I know they use a uh, Kevlar polyester blend, which is not going to be as, as strong as full Kevlar in all the slide areas. So I would not recommend those unless uh, you know your budget is that tight. I think you can get those for maybe 70 bucks. But even at the regular price of $135, these still beat most of the uh, uh, pricing on these riding jeans out there. Um, I'll put a link to the website down in the uh, description. I think it's just uh, gusset.com, but I'll, I'll put the link down there. If you're interested, you can check them out. Another great thing about this company is they offer their jeans in every size. In other words, you go into a store to get some Lees or something, or Levi's, and they're going to be only available in the even sizes for um, waist. 
32, 34, 36, 38, etc. These come in every size. In other words, 35 ways, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and they go the way up. I'm not sure how big, but uh, I think up to 48, maybe even higher. Just check the website. And um, so you can get any combination of waist and inseam. Here's a look at the tag on the inside. Made in USA since 1987, gusset.com. Diamond Gusset Jean Company. And uh, I didn't show you the zipper. It's got a real nice, heavy duty YKK zipper. I'll try to give you a little look at this from a distance here. I'm not going to model them for you because you can go on the website and they got several good pictures on there. It'll give you a, a good feel for what they uh, look like and the style and all that. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Hope this was helpful. And watch for my upcoming coverage of the Milwaukee Rally and the National Hog Rally. I should have some good stuff for you. Take care everybody. Have a good day. This is BCR signing out. Remember to live hard and ride easy.